He's considered one of the 50 greatest NASCAR drivers of all time, part of the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, and will be inducted to the NASCAR's Hall of Fame. Terry Labonte joining us. Terry, welcome. Thanks so much for coming by. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Well, I, I could rattle off all of your career achievements, uh, but we just simply don't have enough time for, for all of that. So tell me, which one of those are you most proud of? Gosh, I don't know. I'll tell you, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, Every time you win a race, I think it always had a special story or something special happened or something. But uh, one of my favorite wins was actually here in the Texas uh, Speedway. And uh, when, when I won the race there, I think it was in 99, it was, uh, that was probably one of the biggest wins of my career. And uh, to win in my home state, and we had there were so many fans there, it was just, uh, just really incredible. Your dad introduced you to racing. You started racing competitively in the 70s, is that right? Um, how has the sport changed from then to when you pretty much call it a career? You know, it's changed a lot, and uh, I got to see it change a lot. It was really exciting to be a part of that. You know, we used to race uh, in the NASCAR series at, at tracks where we probably didn't, you know, have 30,000 people show up for a race and kind of smaller tracks and things like that. And we're able to see the sport grow over the years and uh, turn into what it is today. And uh, Really, when I first started, it was pretty much a regional sport in the Carolinas, and, and of course now it's uh, all across the country, so it's definitely different. And one of your uh, Winston Cup championships was with Hendrick Motorsports. They obviously have an incredible history of success and championships over there. What makes them different as an organization? You know, I think that uh, the, I think the biggest difference is Rick just gives them everything they need, you know, uh, equipment-wise, tools-wise, people-wise. I mean, he, uh, I said in meetings before, and, uh, you know, the guys say, hey, we need this and that, and he'll say, how much does it cost? And the guy would answer it, and he'd say, okay, get it. He said, you promise me that we won't break any more parts, you know? <laughs> the guy said, yeah, I promise. But he's a hands-on guy. Uh, everybody there that, uh, that, that works there just looks up to him, and he's just a, a fantastic leader. And I think these people are motivated to work for him, you know, just, just because they work for him. And, and uh, just a successful guy and a, a great guy to to have the opportunity to drive for it, which was really awesome. You were semi-retired for about 10 years, pretty much uh, called it a career last year. Do you, do you miss driving at all? Nope. It took, <laughs> me, it took me a long time to, to, get, to get out of it there, but I, I went from running so many years, you know, the entire season, that I went to running a limited schedule, then I retired, and then I came back and ran some races, and then I finally, I think I re retired about three times. So last October was the final time, and no, I don't miss it. I know uh, a, a lot of people, the, the big buzz uh, in Sprint Cup right now is uh, Jeff Gordon retiring. I know it's a tight fraternity uh, with all the drivers. Do you have a Rainbow Warrior story to share? Man, I tell you, I was Jeff's teammate for a long time. He was just an incredible talent. And, and I hate to see him retire. I really do. I'm, I'm a big Jeff Gordon fan. I really think he can you know, win another championship or two. And, and uh, I know he's been doing it a long time, and I'm sure he's got other things that he'd like to do, and I understand that. But uh, also being a fan... I'm going to miss seeing him out there. Terry Labonte, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yep, thanks. And I'm Edward E. Gross, Fox Sports.